from the technique of filming to the privilege of filming the life of a convent. And if your conception is the general one of a passive life, you'll no doubt be surprised by the nuns of Lady Will Convent, Godalming. Far from cloistered, their material livelihood in part depends on their skill as farmers. And if their faith dates back to biblical times, farming methods here are both modern and efficient. The grounds of Ladywell, approximately a hundred acres, need constant tending and tidying. Should the work seem unrelated to the wants of poorer grounds, of poorer people, remember the sisters are preparing themselves to tackle those wants. These Franciscan missionaries of the Divine Motherhood spend five years here before proceeding to some distant mission as nurses and teachers, as spiritual guides to the impoverished. Prayer, of course, is the mainstay of a life devoted to God. But hands that are joyously clasped must learn to be used in order to serve the sick and the poor, the destitute and the abandoned. Hands that still a wriggling piglet or groom a shy young calf also are involved in housework and plumbing, cooking and nursing, shoe repairing and mechanics in anything that will fit them for their future missionary life. Lord will send forth a blessing upon all the works of thy hands. Stonemasonry is included among the visual arts which the sisters learn at Ladywell, to the glory of God. A girl entering the convent becomes a postulant and is immediately initiated into the family spirit. But after six months, she is ready for her clothing day, a never-to-be-forgotten day that signifies her wedding to God. Dressed as a bride, she approaches the altar to receive the livery of Christ, promising to serve God faithfully until death. priest celebrant's first act after the novice's veil has been removed is to symbolically cut four strands of her hair as an offering to God. Dominus pars hereditatis mei. Dominus pars hereditatis mei. In Latin, the celebrant says, Grant, we pray thee, almighty God, that thy handmaid, whose hair we cut today, may always remain in thy love. The sisters of the order have the centuries-old privilege of being actually clothed on the altar step, just as St. Francis of Assisi clothed St. Clare in St. Mary of the Angels. May the Lord clothe you with the newness of life which is made by God in justice and true holiness. Operiat crinem tua modestia sobrietas e continentia. Ut virtutem ac quinta comitatu corporeo dominici sanguis redempta velamine. Mortificationem domini nostri Jesu Christi tua incarnate circumstas. Actibe Sawaka Sima Coronam Beati Maria Virginis in memoriam septem Gaudion Suorum Contextum. Sit Lucerna Ardens in Malibus Tuis, who convenerit a divinus sponsus exiri possus obvia mei, et intrari comeo ad nuptias. Actipe crucem Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, in qua es salus vita et resurrectio nostra. Filia in posterum non vocabris Maria, sed soror Angela. My daughter, henceforth you shall not be called Mary, but Sister Angela. <laughs> A 
At Ladywell, the door is always open. If her sister ever feels that she can no longer obey the life she has chosen, she is free to return to the world. But the world acknowledges this life of service, and the world sends its devoted daughters here. From the Commonwealth they come, from India, from Malaya, from China, to become the spouse of God and magnify his name.